To be adequate for a community and an individual, oral health services should be geographically near, affordable, timely, and adequately staffed in a way that accommodates all patients. According to the Minnesota Department of Health, only 23.5% of Minnesota children enrolled in a public health care program were seen by a dentist in the past year. Right now, Apple Tree has a waiting list of 872 families, and the list keeps on growing every single day. In our family, uh, my granddaughter Rowan needed dental care at a young age. We could not find anyone local or nearby that would accept the medical assistance that she was on. I called last year here and told her story, and they were kind enough to take her in and they have been tremendous and awesome for her and I'm so thankful. She loves the dentist and she could not say that before. And coming to the apple tree we have been working with the early childhood dental network and we have seen more than 2,700 kids. The most of the kids we see they never had any preventive care until we have seen them. This state is in such need to have more dental places that will accept medical assistance. I do know the need is there, it is very real, and there are children, not just my granddaughter, that have had to settle for experiences that were not good for them, were not positive, just because there was nowhere else to go. For us to provide care for everyone, we need to expand our team, and in order to do that, we need to have a better reimbursement rates. During our wait, trying to look for a place for Rowan to go, we were referred to go to Brainerd, which is a two hour drive and was very difficult to even consider doing that. More dentists need to get on board for all these children that are in need that don't go to a dentist because they can't get to one that's too far away or it's simply just not there for them. Oral health matters. So in order to provide a better care, please give us support by providing additional resources for the dental care for the state of Minnesota.